Hey everybody, I didn't introduce myself, but if you're watching this video, you're probably more interested in this book than you are with me, so let's take a look. I got this from the library. I borrowed this from the library. Mad's Greatest Artists. Dave Berg, five decades. Five decades? I didn't realize he was doing Mad Magazine for five decades. Now he was one of their premier artists. Most people really like Don Martin, or what's that other guy's name? Sergi Eric, I don't, I don't know how to say his last name. But uh, I was always kind of partial to Dave Berg. His artwork wasn't as crazy. But, I don't know, I thought he was the most consistent. So, anyways, see how thick this book, I guess five decades would make for a thick book. Okay, so, yeah, it looks like my dad. All right, yeah, they had pizzas back in there. I don't see Pizza Hut in there or Domino's. Now, here's a little bit of cynicism, early mad cynicism. Mad playgrounds that prepare kids for adult life. They're constantly out of reach swing. That teaches kids to face life's frustrations. All right, now that's kind of heavy stuff for kids. Okay, I'm gonna skip through. Let me get to the 1960s. All right, so. All right, this is one. America's getting soft. See, even back in the 1960s, people were complaining about America getting soft. See, that's nothing new. And yet, we're still doing great. A mad look at the telephone. Back in the 1950s, the telephone was just a telephone. That's all, you, you, you couldn't watch anything on it. You couldn't, just a phone. They used to mount it to the wall or to a table. Alright, so anyways, these, and these jokes are kind of lame. He, he follows the same format, formula. And television said, there wasn't any cable back then, so you only had three stations. But still, it was addicted. Addicting. Addictive. And so just like people are addicted to their phones, or the internet, people are addicted to TV. It's kind of weird thing that people would actually get addicted to three stations. But I saw it. I witnessed it with mine own eyes. All right, back when I was a kid, everybody smoked. So the lighter side of smoking. And this is not, this stuff is not really an exaggeration. I mean, when you went to a movie theater back then, instead of cup holders, there were ashtrays on the armrests. And so you'd put drinks on the floor, and then, of course, the drink would get kicked, and so the floors were sticky with dried up soda. Or you'd roll a bottle down between the seats, and you hear the ding, 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 ding. So this guy tells a dirty joke. She gets mad, tells it to the women, and then they laugh. And nowadays, they might laugh, but then they'd still sue the guy, get him fired from his job. All right, so here's a here's one I remember where everyone's envious of the person above them at their job, and then the guy at the very top's envious of the people at the bottom. You know, just human nature. speed this up and then camera and Ken back then you had to have a camera I mean you couldn't take pictures with your phones you couldn't run videos with your phone. some of those cameras are expensive but then you had to get your film developed by somebody else unless you're an actual photographer you'd have to take your film to a place and then half the time they'd mess it up I remember my mom cried once when she had a bunch of family pictures and then she took them to the place and they lost it see look at that turd right there Oh, I hated that kid. Even as a kid, I hated that kid. He looked like a friend of mine, too, and I still hated him. I mean, not my friend. I just hated that kid. Okay, what kind of hobbies did people have back then? I don't even know if... The last hobby store that I saw shut down. So I don't even know if there are hobby stores anymore. I mean, because everyone's on their... Okay, I'm sounding like an old man. Lighter set of status seeking again. Nothing's changed. If you read these cartoons, it's the same, same human nature. Okay, you get to the 70s, family gatherings. Ye lighter side of Valley Forge. You know, same worries as today. Probably worse in the 70s. I remember like the gas prices and gas lines and inflation. I mean, 70s, late 60s, early 70s are crazy. I remember these books. And that's how you read them. You, I have a very thin version of this book, but it's only about one decade. And then you'd have these pocket books. You get them fairly, you can usually find them at a used bookstore. Really cheap. I don't know about, uh, for some reason, I always liked that one and that one when I was a you know, teenager. I don't know why. Okay, collecting. And again, I don't know if people today collect stuff. I mean, I collected comic books. I remember I had friends collecting soda cans. 
beer cans. And I don't mean just random. They'd get one of each brand, you know, so they'd try to find another Coke can, Pepsi can. you get these obscure soda cans from different parts of the country. I just did comic books or rock collections. I don't know if people still, if people still do that kind of thing. Okay, more books. And then, see? Lighter side of winning before Charlie Sheen and Donald Trump. People still wanted to win. It's not the lighter side of competition. It was the lighter side of winning. How do you do, how do you make fun of water? All right, take a look. Read that if you want. I don't like to read to people. My monotone voice. They don't appreciate it. Life see? Lighter side of overreacting. Even in the 70s, people overreacted. The lighter side of being triggered. This is the term today. Or outrage. Or just plain rage. Road rage. Something rage. And we get to the 80s. The lighter side of inflation. See? Hey. We talk about inflation, but you know, back in the 80s, it was an issue. And today we have concerns of it, but it hasn't been a problem in a while. And then here the book goes downhill a little bit. It went downhill a little bit in the 80s and 90s because instead of having the same theme, there's just like a different topic all the time. I don't know. I think it's just kind of not as good. I think he's recycling stuff. Maybe the shtick is... I mean, you can't, it's tough to do the same, the, the, the same, it's tough to do the same shtick for over 30 years or 40 years or 50 years. Yeah, so it just makes sense that it would start to decline a little bit. Still like the guy. He's still great. This gives you an idea. Oh, here we go. I remember this one. This one's really tacky. <laughs> Let me take a look at this one. Sergeant Redress received word that Roger Kaputnik's wife died. I want you to break the news to him. Just do it gently, please. Yes, sir. I'll do it real gentle, sir. And then, <laughs> I want all you married men to step forward. Not so fast there, Kaputnik. <laughs> okay. You got to be careful who you show that joke to. I, we gotta, I got to wrap this up. I went way longer on this than I wanted to. But anyways, I thought it was a cool book. The only thing bad about this book is that I got it from the library and I have to return it tomorrow. So if you see this type of book, I'd suggest you buy it. Check it out. It's awesome. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit like if you like. It's not, when you, if you hit like, it's not that you're liking me. It's that you're liking the book. You like the book. Appreciate the book. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.